What's up guys, Groovy Gets Hard Dude here, and the first thing you want to know for Issues by Julia Michaels is that you need a capo on first fret. The next thing you want to know for Issues is the couple of chord shapes we're going to use for this song. The first one is going to be C. The next one's going to be D. The next will be G over B. And we're going to have G. D over F sharp. And last is going to be E minor. So what we're going to be doing for picking pattern is pretty much the same thing through the whole song. So I'm going to use our C chord as an example over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit with our thumb our bass note. And then we're going to hit our bottom two strings. You can either kind of strum them down like that. Or you can pluck them like that at the same time. But we're going to hit whatever our bass note. So the lowest note of our chord. And then we're going to hit the E and B strings. Whether you pluck them or strum them down, either one is fine. Alright guys, so for our verses, what we're going to have is we're going to have C, and we're going to have D, and we're going to have G over B, and then we're going to have back to C, and then we're going to repeat that until we get to the pre-chorus. So that'll look something along the lines of this. Alright, that'll bring us into pre-chorus. It's going to be almost the same thing, but it's going to go C, D, and then it's going to have this walk down. So we're going to go G, and then we're going to go D over F sharp, and then E minor. And that'll be our pre-chorus. And I believe we'll repeat that either two or three times before we go back into chorus. So that should look something like this. Alright guys, last thing we need is our chorus, and it's going to be very similar to our pre-chorus. The only thing we're going to do is get rid of that D over F sharp, so we're not going to have the walk down in this. So it'll be C, D, G, and E minor. And it's going to be the same picking pattern, so it'll look something like this. And guys, that is all you need to know to play Issues. As always, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to them. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have about 275 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually post one to three new ones every single day. Lastly, guys, if any of you are interested in my gear, whether it's my camera, microphone, guitars, strings, picks, capos, any of that stuff, I have that all linked in the description below. I get a lot of questions for that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and just put it all down there in the description. That way it's easy for those of you are curious to find. Guys, I hope you have a lot of fun playing issues and I'll see y'all very soon.